Hirieta. Is Hirieta here? Yes. Uh, Hirieta, you had an issue. Can you please share your screen now so you can we can check together yeah. if that's okay for you? Yes, sure. Do, do, do you have access to share or do you need access? I, I think, she, she I think you, share. you can share. Okay. Yeah. Did you start? Tip. So, do you guys see? <coughs> no, no, not we're yet. not able yet. Just uh, if, if you have the pop up. Just click share your screen or entire screen so we can see. Okay. Okay. It's not your entire screen, right? Okay, entire screen. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Isaac. Hey there. So, Hurrieta? Are we able to do it now or do you want uh, to schedule? I'm trying to, but it doesn't allow me. I don't know why. Oh, it doesn't allow you. Okay. Yes, the, the share button is not clickable. I don't know why. Um, can can guard try if you can share so I can understand if you have access or just uh, yeah. Yes. yeah because you you have access to share your screen so yeah you should be able to if that's not possible at the moment it's okay we can schedule a call or or together. you can or you can ask but yeah I know the problem okay oh okay, guard is presenting so yeah. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. But it's okay, Greta. It's not a big deal. We can schedule a call together to see your problem and you can share your entire screen there and fix the issue with your app, okay? Okay, thank you. Are you recording? Yep, I'm recording. Okay, awesome. Um, so today's, before I jump into the lesson, do you guys have any other questions regarding the assignment? Anything that's not clear to you that you want to discuss before the other session? Because on today's lesson, we're going to learn something very different from what we have seen until until now. And uh, uh, some do you have any questions before? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please confirm it. Do you have any, or it's okay for you to jump onto the lesson? It's, for me, it's okay. You can continue. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let me present the <laughs> thing first. So, today's topic is uh, related to creating marketplace type of applications and ordering and payments. These are very popular uh, features that are applied all over platforms and applications that are being created day to day. So Flogert is going to present you a bit more about application marketplaces and why are they important for the industry, all types of industries. Yeah, actually. Um, so uh, application uh, marketplace is uh, very important in nowadays because it's used in uh, any type of industry and uh, for a uh, developer, it's very important to uh, to be able to uh, create or to, to develop an uh, application marketplace. So uh, uh, we will see today how we can build it, and uh, if it's difficult to uh, to create a marketplace, a marketplace. Uh, in Adado. Uh, first and. Uh, Application marketplace is an online store where the customers and, uh, can go to find and, and uh, purchase uh, application. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on the type uh, of marketplace and uh, products sold, customer can download application on, onto their computers or servers, phones, and other devices. And use this store, this. Yeah, and they can uh, uh, man manage uh, it to cloud-based products and services. Uh, Service. Uh, services, a yeah. wide variety of uh, digital 
products can be sold through uh, application marketplace. Uh, but uh, here in Adalo, uh, it's um, very simple to uh, not simple, simple but, uh, but complicated as and, well. Uh, yes. Uh, to create a marketplace type. because uh, Adalia has uh, it's pre-built um, the components that are one-time card uh, payments and uh, we can uh, it's uh, supported by uh, Stripe. So uh, basically, can I please? Okay. <laughs> okay. So to recap what Gerrit said, uh, marketplace type of applications are very popular and widely known into the industry because are very uh, needed for business to business relations or business to client relations That's that the is cash flow yeah that is why we developers uh, produce all the time uh, marketplace type of applications me myself i have built an application on adado that is like airbnb uh, i can show you a bit of that if you want to but it was not easy let me say that even though a lot of components are pre-done and ready to use in Andalo, there's a lot of logic running behind the, the scenes. Now, that is possible to do, of course, uh, with code, but it is possible to, to create a marketplace type of application in Andalo as well. I have done it myself, Andy has done it too, and Flogarity as well has created uh, applications um, for Payments. payments for uh airbnb type of applications for what is it called like when you rent a space rentals. no 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 rental but no 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 booking but yeah, yeah. Er, yeah, yeah. sorry i was such an opinion agency <laughs> Hey, Ritzy. Ritzy yeah. is the yeah. application. It's the. Okay, you get Real it, guys. Estate. Real estate, exactly. <laughs> I was not finding the right. I was not able to find the right word. Uh, so that's it. And this is possible due to the components that Progerity that are, are pre built in Adalo. Adalo is able to support payments uh, through uh, Stripe. Stripe because it's a partner with Stripe and there's the component that is done. You just have to configure uh, your Stripe account and a couple of other uh, variables uh, that are shown on the on the console. But here you can see just what the client sees at the card number and all the uh, things needed. So, <clears throat> Types of payments that can be done through Adalo are one-time payments. So you want to buy something, you create your own product, you put it on sale on your application, and the user can uh, do a one-time payment through the component that Adalo has done for you. You just have to build the logic behind that product. Also, there are a uh, subscription type of payments. Adalo and Stripe have created this uh, subscription type of package where the creator of the application can configure and create packages on his Stripe account that will be able for the users of this application that he owns. So the users of the application can choose on which package to subscribe to. The main thing that has to be done is by the owner and the creator of the application and then the developer so to configure his Stripe account and then the developer that will continue working with the Stripe component will just do the connection between the users. So Andy will show the rest of the work, how is it going to be done. Uh, we'll show you a preview of the app that is already a, a functional marketplace, a kind of, but we will show you an a more advanced one like rental marketplace the one that i have uh, created and um, after you have a, a right visualization of how a marketplace looks like and how payments are being proceeded then he will go into creating all these functionalities from scratch so you can understand it better okay do you have any questions until now, did you read the lesson? Did you search more on yourself? Can you please take a question? Uh, I will in the video. <clears throat> so about the about the introduction of 
the payments and Stripe, is everything clear? Uh, so, first I want to say, we can't create a Stripe account in Albania. There's that. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to duplicate a, a button which does the action when, whenever we pay with Stripe. But you can implement it with PayPal. Uh, there's, there's a way to implement it with PayPal. So, if you want to have something up and running, you can use PayPal or something else as a method. Or if you have... Uh, because Stripe is more like yeah. business directed because you have if you want to create a stripe account is mostly for businesses that have sorry someone just joined Hello, uh, it's more for personal that are business related so whenever you can get the idea they create a subscription it has to be a business right yeah but you have if you have somebody that lives abroad that supports the stripe uh platform you can just ask them to give you a couple of credentials what is required is your address where you live and a phone number that is currently working on the place that they're living and you can simply use that we use the stripe accounts of the clients that we're working with so they configure it we don't have to deal with that part but it's pretty easy to, to configure a Stripe account. You can just follow a couple of tutorials on YouTube or directly from Stripe. It is very easy to Basically, Stripe, to Stripe is like PayPal, but very well known in America. So <laughs> <laughs> that's why they use. OK, so now I'm going to to just give you a little de demo of uh, what a marketplace means. I, I pre-built this earlier. So I can show you firstly how it works and what it means. Then I'm going to build it from scratch again. It's not easy. Sometimes I get lost as well. I have to try it three or four times to to, to go. Actually, I don't remember the username, but I think it's Andy at gmail uh, com yes. or not Andy. It was not. Well, now you can show how you take it from the database because sometimes. They forget as well how your oh, yeah. email was or how your username was. You can check on the yeah. database. You can check. You can check it here about your on the record. On the record, you can check your email here. Uh, if you don't, hello, guard. <laughs> if you don't, uh, if you don't remember the password, you can just update it right away with a new one, and and you you're ready to go. So here I added uh, this <coughs> button here, which is only visible if a tree has some uh, menu items okay when we click this button we are going to a list of menu items that it, this trip offers i just uh, type two different menu items random so the the first one is this option too which costs 30 dollars okay i want to add it in my cart okay it's a little bit slow. okay you you see that the number has changed okay if you want and this list where you can remove it i want to add two and you can see the calculations here that the total is 60. this is the default tip amount which is 20 percent but you can change this as many, as much as you like so let's make it five 65 dollars total is 60. i can add another here trip planned 25 dollars okay let me add that you can see here in the total is 30 plus 30 60 plus 25 85 let's make it five five dollar tip 90. okay i want to check out now that's all i want to, to to do here we have the list of items that is selected so i have product two where the cost Your is card. my card exactly where the cost is 30 dollars and i have two items selected in this option and a trip plan where the price is $25 and uh, there is only one item selected, the total and the total plus tip. Here is the Stripe account, Stripe, which should be configured, but we don't have a Stripe account. So I'm just going to just show you how you can do it. And here you have the pay now, which this pay, this here happens only if the payment is successful, which means only the card numbers and okay. the other data okay. are correct then we click pay now which should link us to the other page this is a replica of the action where the payment is correct it's just the same actions here and we go to confirm your your payment was just confirmed see you soon and let's go home now let's check in our database if we do have a new order which is confirmed because i mean can we show it okay 
created two minutes ago, a few seconds ago it's updated. And here we do have it. Not Andy, total page, <coughs> total 90, three order items, two menu items. So this is basically the the, the final flow, work. the flow that, that we go to, to for a marketplace. Here on the home button, I'm gonna present it to you first, and then I, I'm, I'm going to redo it. We have two two actions. We we create one word, one order, then we link to the choose item. And this button is visible only if this trip has menu items. So if this trip offers something to buy. Then we go to this screen where we have a list of menu items of this trip. We have this tip amount, which is a placeholder with this custom formula, which is the sum price of all order items. Total price. Here we just show the total price of this order items that are selected and the checkout button just links us here to this confirm order. We have the list, the same info as this one here and pay now. This is a Stripe component. You first have to connect it to Stripe. What happens if you click this? We go to Stripe and we need to authenticate and log in. We will give some data to, to Stripe and in the end, it will redirect us here again. We actually, in the app, we have to use this component as well. This component is for the logged in user, which is the client. Whenever he clicks here, the logged in user will have a Stripe account ID here, text, Stripe account ID. And whenever the user clicks this in the user interface, here will be saved the logged in user Stripe account ID. So, so we know which so, Stripe account he does have. So every Stripe account ID is unique for every user that has his own account on the application, on the marketplace. It changes and it's different for every user. That is why it is named with a ID. And uh, in the Stripe component, Stripe Payment Legacy, if we connect this with Stripe, we, we are going to get this data. Let me hop on another app so you can see what, what kind of data I'm talking about. Just a second. That's how big it is. Let's go to I'll go I'll go to admin because it's less heavy as an app. <coughs> Let's hope Adai opens it. Yeah, it will. <laughs> So what do you think? Would it be hard for you with this much this much knowledge that you have until now to create something like this? Before hopping into the into more details for this session on how to create all the logic behind the component that Andy, Andy has implemented. So, Clevis, Gerhard, and Kelly, <laughs> because you're new. Stefania, Rhea. Someone. Please. I don't think it will be that hard, but it is new to us. Yeah. It is. Uh, For sure. First, it was complicated, but actually in Adalio, there there is a... Uh, Whenever we pay or we make a subscription, because this is different, but whenever we make a subscription in Adalio, this form changes and gives us an unsubscribe button. But the issue is that when we unsubscribe, we aren't able to make an action in Adalio, so we can we can update this user and say this user unsubscribed, so subscribe is false. And it was a it was a bit challenging for me because I had this game movement up. I don't know, Adalio is not loading at all. 
had this game movement up where I had to to make the unsubscribe available for users. And it was like I have to create a nightmare. I, a nightmare, honestly. I, I had to create a Zapier account. So whenever a user was created in Adalio, I got the data from Zapier. I saved and from Zapier, I created a Google spreadsheet where I, where I stored this user ID and email. And then whenever a subscription was created, I got, I, I, I got the data from from uh, Stripe, from Stripe, whenever a subscription was created, I checked in the Zapier, I went to the spreadsheet, I saved the Stripe ID, and I, then I searched for this user who just subscribed, I searched for his ID, because Stripe could get IDs from Adalio, I searched for this ID, and then I went to Adalio for this ID that I got from Google spreadsheet and updated this user. Sounds I, easy. I, I, I had to think <laughs> about it like two days. How, how, how can I do this? Yeah. Also, you can use Zapier, Integromat, and other third party applications to create more complicated uh, actions in Adalo, but we will do that maybe on the sixth lesson, I guess. Uh, creating yeah. custom actions. There's a lot of noise here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I should should open it. <clears throat> because if if it, if it loses this, it should open this. So here, let me find this try component. Oh, no, it's copy. But it's okay. It's not okay. I I will copy. It. Uh, Admin. Okay. Isn't this crowded? It is crowded, but I mean, okay. So here I, I will show you what the component looks like when it's connected to Stripe. So so you get the idea what that what, what will happen. Don't be scared from all this. Lines. Lines that you see. <laughs> These are the connections between pages. So it's here. Okay. So here the user connects with Stripe. It is connected here. This URI should be added to the Stripe account at the URIs. And this is the user client ID where, which we get from Stripe and the user Stripe secret key which we get from Stripe as well. Here is the, <coughs> the subscription component or the pay component. Can you zoom in a bit? Okay. It will say Stripe. Uh, it will say Stripe uh, Connect Active. Here we have the product ID, which we want to to subscribe to. We get this from Stripe, and the the the, the info, the data, what happens. And you can see here after payment is successful, what happens. Where we click this after payment is successful, what happens. And we have some conditions. We can run test mode as well, so we can use a default default credit card number, and it works just to give us uh, an idea of about the flow. So here we connect it with Stripe. We get those URI and Stripe secret key and client ID. To, but did you mention? The yes, I did mention this. Account. And when the the client logs in, it saves his Stripe account ID here. Here we do have this payment amount, which is this order, order items, price, sum, plus the tip here, which we input, the charge description, we give a description here, the order name is paid, total price, we give here the current order, order items, price, sum, plus the tip, we have the tip, other component on screen choose item tip on the tip email field we have we give the buyer email the login user email and the submit button so when 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 order is successful we change the total price and paid to true the structuring of the database 
firstly what we are going to create we are going to create order right so what do we need here i want to book i want to create an order or reservation so i need an order collection the order collection what is is going to have an aim an order creator a trip which is which it belongs to this trip here a total price is paid or not and this paid is only made after we we make a payment success with the stripe component order items meaning how many order items will it have here with how many will we add and menu items means what how many items will it have not order items because we can have two of these menu items and one of these it means we are going to have three order items but two menu items only two here which is this list here so we go here and we have these three buttons here this button is sometimes visible because i mean i, I want to have only six available items for a, for a purchase i don't want it more so whenever we create an order item because we need an order item here we have menu items <coughs> actually menu items should be created on on screen on the admin side on, on the trip creator because the trip creator wants to wants to add attributes so basically same as here create trip activity which is visible if the current trip creator is loading user we're going to make another button like this and we are going to call it <coughs> create sorry guys create menu item for people to buy that's the idea create menu item and this is visible only if the tree creator is equal to logged in user this will link to new page link to new new screen and we'll call it create menu item Actually, actually, I will do it like this. Uh, sorry. Share screen does like this. You can share the database of your app with a copy. That means a change in the database here affects the change on another database. Basically. On the other app, because the database is basically the same since you choose the option option to share the database. So I'm gonna delete delete menu items. Okay, I'm gonna delete order. I'm going to delete order items. <clears throat> okay. Order items. So I have I actually want to keep these screens because it would take a lot of time. A lot of time to to but this will just appear as deleted, so it's okay. You can so. just create the database structure. So here we want to to create a new item. Let's duplicate this here because we do need it here as well. And it links us to the create menu item here. Here I want to create a menu item and let's say I want a collection or let's okay. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> Forms. I want to add the form here. Okay. So which is a type collection? New collection. And uh, I want to, to list items. Items. This menu item will have a name. Okay. We'll have a description. Okay. <coughs> this menu item will have a price. Yes, because an item has a price, right? price this menu item will belong to a trip 
because uh, I want to know this item which is being sold or this package, this trip package that is being sold, it belongs to which trip. So a trip can have multiple menu items or multiple uh, pa packages. Uh, package belongs to one trip, okay. Trip, uh, creator, in relationship to users. A user can have multiple menu items. A menu item belongs to one user. So this is the creator. Do we miss anything? I think not. You can keep if the other do... app open just to be. No, just to check. We, we share the same database, so it will delete there as well. Oh. Uh, so here we do have automatically trip is the current trip and creator is a logged in user. We set the price required, name description. I'm not going to set an image. And uh, when we create this menu item, I want to link to. I don't know, my profile, home, let's link it home. Or let's link it in a model screen, let's say your item has just been created. Oh, I forgot to rename it. Here. But what did you do transition on? It's transition model. Yes, it's transition model, actually. This is the model. Here. In this screen, let's call it item created. And here, let's 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 just write your item is now available <laughs> to be purchased. Okay, I'm gonna move this because we don't need it. Okay, and we will link home. Great. Here. Now I'm gonna I'm going to log in as I don't know, not Andy, which is which I am logged in. So here do we have uh, okay, we have this trip to Barcelona and Actually, do I have this? Oh, okay. Create menu item. Great. Name uh, trip to Barca. Uh, description it will happen in March. March. Okay. And the price is, uh, let's say, $130. Okay, create menu item. Your item is now available to be purchased. Okay, great. Here uh, in the home screen, we don't show my, my, uh, my, items. my item, so I will have to log out. Where is the log out button? It's here. And I will log in as another user, which is Andy and gmail.com. There is a code. Okay, great. And here I can see trip to Barcelona. So I want to I want to book if this is available. So firstly I will need a button here, which will give me the op the option to, to book where where uh, where where is a no, we don't need to this. I'm going to just show this book button here. If this trip has menu items, so book, book now, book now, okay, book now. Here and this button will only be visible if current trip menu items count is greater than zero okay so let's see does this button actually works so here it shows here it doesn't show here it doesn't show because we only have menu items for this trip to barcelona as you can see here menu items is only one 
and it belongs to a trip to Barcelona and the crater is not ending, which is the same crater as trip to Barcelona. Okay, when we click this, we want to create an order, right? So what do we need? We need a collection. So here I want to create new collection and let's call it order. And this order is name. going to have an A, is going to have a total price. Total price, exactly. Total price is going to have a creator because the order has a creator as well. Mm -hmm. a, a, a creator can have multiple orders, but our order becomes to one user. Great. Let's call it creator. And to have a relationship to the trip because an order belongs to one trip, right? So a trip can have multiple orders, or order belongs to one trip. And let's leave this trip. It's going to have a, a paid attribute. Is this paid or not? Is paid. Mm, I think if, if you do need something else, we will get it along the way. So let's create this. Here, I create an order. And about the name, I want to make it distinctive, so I so i can have some conditions later to 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 check if if an item belongs to this order so the name of this order is going to have current trip name slash login user full name slash date and time current time unless make the format not relative but then date time it will be unique that's the meaning total price uh, we don't need the total price at the moment because we haven't added anything. Creator is the logged in user. Trip is the current trip. Is paid is false. I think we do need another field, but I don't really remember it for the moment. Let's, let's check the database of order activities. No, we don't, we don't need this. Trips, menu items. Mm, yes, we, we do need another another relationship with a menu item because a menu uh, an order can have many many menu items, but some menu items belong can belong to many orders. So relationship with many items, a menu item can have multiple order. Do you hear me correctly? Because there's a lesson going on on the other side that I'm trying to to be to not be allowed as as much loud. Okay, I think you hear me. So, an order can have multiple, a menu item can have multiple orders. That's right, because a menu item can have multiple orders. An order belongs to one menu item. I don't know. A menu item can have only one order. This is basically not used to make too much in a dialogue. And an order can have multiple menu items. Okay, and the menu item can have multiple orders. Okay, this makes sense, right? Right, it makes sense. And here, we create this order and we link to this page here, choose item. Link to choose item. Here, and here we have a list. A list of what? This is a list of menu items, right? Because I want to see what's available for sale. And the list of menu items. And not all menu items, but current trip menu items. So all these menu items that belong to the to, to this trip. trip that I click. In this case, it's trip to Barcelona. So current trip menu items. Great. Uh, the components. We have these shapes here. We have the name, which is deleted because I deleted everything, and this one here. So here will be the current menu item name, and here will be the current menu item price. Do not forget to format the... Yep, the price can be formatted as a currency here. And, and you can change the currency. You can USB change the currency in... Euros, all. Albanian. Do we have Albanian? Yes, we do. Albanian 
USD, 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 USD. Sorry. I will, I, oh, I will do it like this. Oh. <laughs> Say stop when you see the USD. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Oh, here it is. USD. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the count of... Let's delete this because it's empty, and these are empty, and these are empty. Mm, I did you do. Oh. Let's add this icon as well. Icon. Here. Card. Great. We have this card. We have this text here. Uh, number. And we have this list here of nothing because actually we don't we don't have the collection. So uh, whenever I click this, what what is my goal? My goal is to create an uh, order item, right? Because ordered item. Ordered item. Because that means that I have to create a new collection, and the collection will be create new collection order item. This is what it's going to be called. The order item can have a name, which is the current as the the its its parent. It will have a price, which will be the same as the listed item. Price it will belong to a relationship to a menu item. It will belong to a menu item can have sorry a relationship to the order. An order can have multiple ordered items. An order item belongs to one order great we have a relationship to menu items do we need this a menu item can have multiple ordered items an ordered item a menu item can have multiple ordered items an ordered item belong to many items i'm just, just gonna leave, it, leave this like this and uh, let's call this name of order and let's call this name of menu item. We're gonna use this to to filter if it if it belongs to the same order and the same menu item. So let's create this. Great. Here in the database, let's let's make a little change for the item. Let's let's put this here. Here. So here we create an ordered item, and I, I will add field as well as maximum number available if you don't need this actually oh yeah you if you want and it and, is required sometimes and I, I will make this six times available <coughs> so the name of the order basically you get it current order name right right menu of name of menu item current menu item name, the price will be the same as this menu item. So current menu item price, order, current order, maximum number available, this one. And this button will be visible sometimes where current, let me think this through because it gets a little bit messy here. I want this to be visible. Yes, I want this to be visible if current menu item ordered item count so the number that i've clicked this through is this is less than this number because if i if i want to order six times i will have to make this puzzle visible only five times right because when i click for the fifth time it will give me six numbers six, six uh, order items and then this will not be visible that's what i need to achieve here that's what I need to achieve. So I'll make this visible, and I want to 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 count all order items that this order has, which belongs to this order, and has the same name as this menu item. That's why I made these two fields. So current order, we can make this here as well. Ordered items count. Okay, where 
because if you leave it like this, it will if it will count all the order order Dyson for this for this one as well. So I want to to name of order is equal to current orders name and name of menu item is equal to current menu item name. So it will get me only the order ordered items that have the same name as this and belongs to this order that we just created. And this is less than six. Okay. It can be dynamic as well. You can choose uh, something from the database. Probably. Here. Uh, and we want to update this order, update current order, and add this menu item to this order, right? Because we, we add this menu items, we can add it six or seven times, but we want to update this whenever we add one. So menu items, add current menu item. But the problem is, if we leave it like this, every time we click this, we will update this menu item here, and this one, if we click six times, or we, if you click this three times, we will have three menu items on our list here. We, it, it will be added three times, and we don't want that. So we want this to be done only when it's the first time that, that only if we have this item, only if we have it zero times. If it's more than one, we don't want to add this menu item in our order. So this will happen sometimes. It's, it's, it's better done than said. We'll make this sim sometimes. And here, current order, current order, menu items, count, where, do you have a really, okay, we don't, count where the order, let me double check this. Current order menu items count where this menu item name. Uh, I think we can make this different. So let me check the database a bit. I think they can hear me just fine. So we have this order here. This order belongs to one to many menu items. Okay. I want to update this order if sometimes current order menu items all does not contain current menu item. All right? So if this order, if the list of these all menu items that are in the current order does not contain this menu item here, when we click this button, I want to, 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 add, to add this here. So I think I'm done with this part. Here we have the number. So basically we want to, to, to say how many ordered items we have for this specific menu item. Is, is it clear because there are the same names, menu item, ordered items, but I mean, what can I do? So here I will have them. Jason, if they have any questions, you can okay, write do, them. Do you have any questions for now? So we, we divide it. We created the order selection. Is that clear? It will make more sense in the end, but. <laughs> I'm checking for answers. Yo, for me it's okay. Great card. Anyone? Someone left us. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's 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 continue. So I want to show all ordered items that belongs to this order and have the same name as this one. So this is a current order. Uh, I'm going to say ordered items count where the name, the same filter as the same filter as this one here, where the name, let's hope it's, it's work because we have to change it then. Where the name of the order is equal to current order name. And actually, Adano has just approved the feature where you can add or now. So 
it's a uh, add and no. or you can choose or it helped a lot really and name of menu item is equal to current menu item name okay and here i want to list so this is going to be a list because if i if i click remove whenever i create a, an ordered item so whenever which is that no, it's okay uh, so whenever i click this plus button here i create an ordered item so i don't have a you can either do it here with quantity of uh, of elements but that that happens only if you have the same the same listed item because we can have two or three and we can we can put it in one field how many ordered items we have so whenever i click this plus here it creates me an ordered item so basically if i want to remove one i have to delete a whole element a, a whole a whole record of this of this ordered item here so i need a list this is a list of what a list of ordered items right and current order ordered items uh, okay current order ordered items where the name of menu item is equal to current menu item name so i want to to have the list of all ordered items in this order but which have the same name as this one here so it belongs to this one and we can add this filter for double measures we don't really need it actually because it, it's the collection that sets us it for us here and when we click this here we have this icon when we click this we want to delete this uh, current ordered item which is the list okay and another thing here we added this this uh, menu item to the order here but uh, here i want to remove it only if it we we have we have only one ordered list of this menu item and we make it zero so basically if it, if it's zero this menu item doesn't belong to our order right it doesn't make sense so here i want to update the order as well current order or is it okay current order and i want to remove this menu item this one here but sometimes where when current order ordered items count where the name of menu item is equal to current menu item name and current name of order is equal to current order name is equal to zero or uh, how do we do this because it's, it's <laughs> tricky uh, if you make it this, this zero okay it should work it, it's equal to zero because we delete it here and then we we check if it's zero so basically if you make if if we put this on top it won't work but if you put this below this one it will work because here we delete it and here it checks if it's zero uh, check if it's still recording the meeting i think yes it is okay good extensions <laughs> and here we have the tip amount the tip amount and the here we have the tip amount let's let's make it here so basically the tip amount i want to make it a default value of 20 percent of the value that i'm purchasing okay that's how it in America, we, they do have a 20% tip amount. <laughs> and here, current order, ordered items, price, sum. So basically, let, let, let's take it from the back. I want the sum of the prices of all ordered items that are in this order. So the ordered item has a price which is here when we create this ordered item we give it the price of this menu item so if we have two of this two of these 30 dollars two times uh, 30 60 here uh actually i think i need it right? yes i do need this as a custom formula sorry 
So here, let's make it a custom formula, new formula in the end. This new formula allows you to, allowed to, 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 add, to add nothing. Math. But it's only uh, used when the uh, property that you created on your database, on the current uh, collection, is a number type of field. Yep. It won't show up if it's a text here, field. Type or number. So in this yeah. current format, we have current order, ordered items, price, sum, plus the tip amount, right? Uh, no, sorry. Here we, we have the default one. So we, we will multiply this by, by 0. 0. 0.2. 0. 0.2, great. Here we have the total sum of my order. This is sometimes visible. Oh, I have to remove this, I think. Okay, great. Let's make it all this visible. Uh, so here, the total is current order, ordered items, price, sum. And let's make this currency. And here, total plus tip. Let's do this here. Current order, ordered items, price, sum plus plus the tip right the tip here great we take it from the other component and here we, we check out we don't have to calculate we, that we, again we link this here to confirm order and this is uh, the last screen right yep this is not the last screen this is the last screen but this is just a model one yeah so here we want a list of uh, we don't have this list here. So we want a list of menu items, these menu items that I have had added in my order. So this is a list of menu items, okay? But not all menu items, but current order menu items, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the current menu item name, which is the name that we have added here. And the subtitle, I want it to be the price. Here, I want it to be the price of this current menu item price and the count. Uh, a dialog does this when we delete something that is deleted, we have to delete it like this because it's another error. Great. So here I want to, to say the number of items that I've selected for this menu item. So what are we going to do? Basically the same more current order ordered items count where the name of menu item is equal to current menu item name and the name of order is equal to current order uh, name okay uh, here uh, default is normal and let's add this no change it to none yeah, because that's why it's it not and this prefix here i think i have showed you item if it's singular and items if it's plural and let's add this okay great okay. here we are going to do the same as in this screen just We have to delete this and make it some always visible. It doesn't matter here. It will show always. Here, I want current order ordered items price sum as a currency. And here, I want the tip as well. So custom formula. Current order, ordered items, price, sum, plus the tip. The tip, we have it in this screen, choose item. So all screens choose item tip. Great. Connect with Stripe. Uh, sometimes you can add a filter here for this to be visible if the logged in user Stripe account ID is not empty. So they have to connect it for sure. And on the pane now, we 
payment amount, you know, you already know it, current order, ordered items, price, sum, plus the tip. The tip, guys. The charge description will be current order name. Paid total price. Uh, we don't need that. Sorry. Let's let's leave it for this. Order paid. Email is the loading user's email. Submit button. Updates and links. Links to check out. We'll leave it. Updates the current order. So it's paid, right? So the current order is paid. And the total price, let's make the same one, current order, ordered items, price, count. As you can see, this is repetitive. So what we can do is on this checkout, we can update the order total price. Every time we, we click checkout and we don't do this. We just say current order total price. We don't change you it. You have to do the same actions on the other button <laughs> since the component won't work because uh, the Stripe account is not configured, not connected. Here and uh, other corner or tip and and check out. We're going to do the same here at the pay now, so we don't because we don't have the we don't have the stripe account. Stripe account. Current order trip is paid true and total price we already know for the fifth hundred time plus. Uh, tip. Great. And this links us here. So what are we going to do? We are going to log in as not Andy, and we are going to create uh, two more menu items. So we have three for this this one here. And we try it. If it's right, it should work. If it's not, silly me. Don't blame yourself. So let's go to my profile. Let's go to my trip load here. Create menu item, uh, trip to Barcelona standard package, trip uh, 20 kilos of luggage, description, get all the, the clothes that you want. Yay. It's like fifty dollars for that. Okay, great. And let's add another one. Uh, create menu item, let's say. Uh, and then what we can do is join the trip if this user purchased from this menu item. We can give it as an <laughs> uh, And the third option, let's say, is it something no. Is it our historical stadium? You already know he is kind of hard to judge the <laughs> Actually, it's cheaper. It's like 40 or 30. I don't really know. Like 30 or 30 something, euros, like something like that. So we do, we, we, we created it. And let's log in as another user so we can actually test it. Are you there? Yes, you are there. Just shaking, are you? Sorry. <laughs> Here, so we do have some menu items. So let's try and book. Hey, book now. Oh, so we have visit man, visit camp now. I have it camp now, but it's camp now. Twenty kilogram of light luggage and trip to Barça standard package. Okay, let's add this. It will be a bit slow. Okay, great. One hundred and thirty. The the twenty percent is the tip amount. We can change this, you know. We can make it as user. And uh, I want to visit camp. No. Okay. And uh, to 
I want two luggages. Two luggages, so I make it twenty kilos. I'll make it two. So let's add the. Oh, sorry, I have, I forgotten something. I have to make this least maximum number one. Okay, let's but it's okay. Let, let's redo it. No, no, it's not okay. It's just something here. It's easier than you think. Just one. And, and you can see that this order is created, but it's not paid. So this is the 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 attribute that we want to filter when when we make a an order history. If this order is paid, I want to see all orders that are paid, right? So let's start a new order. Okay, I want to go to Barca standard package, 130 watts. Standard package is this. I want to visit camp now. Okay. And, and, and I want to, to add two times 20 kilograms of luggage. One. Let this. Okay, two. It should be quicker, but as you know. Okay, so here. We have 130, 160, so 230 and 60, 290. Let's, let's not be called nuts. <laughs> we are there, Mirik. <laughs> and let's check out. Uh, here, it should bring us to the other page and have this. So I want two items of 20 kilos. One item of visit camp now, and uh, so this is with errors because we have to configure it, as you know, as I already told you. And one item of trip to Barca. But you know what? I changed my mind. I don't want luggage at all. It's too expensive. So I remove this. Okay. And uh, one hundred ninety ten dollars or trip. And as you can see. Uh, I had to make a filter, so this is okay. No, great. It's okay. No, it's okay. It was late. So as you can see here, <laughs> this is the menu items that are included. That's why the delete and update uh, update uh, current order meant. So I can remove it from here if it's zero, and I can I can add it here it's if, if it's one or more. And I put my data here as well. And this doesn't work, so I will kill the save. It's not provided here, you can see. And pay now, $200, remember? Visit come no, pay now. Great, your payment was just confirmed. See you soon. Home, awesome. Here, now let's see the database. I have an order, trip to Barcelona. Andy, total price 200. Creator is Andy, trip to Barcelona, is paid is true. And if I open this here, I have menu items, trip to Barca, standard package, and visit camp, no, ordered items. Trip to Barcelona is the name that I gave it, as you remember, the name, uh, the name of the order, the trip, the name of myself, and the date here. Uh, you can modify this in this collection, it says here. So. Trip to Barcelona, just 60, 130, and here. Uh, I, I forgot to, to, to show you that filtering of six times. So let's, oh, sorry. So let's add one item six times and let's see, does it show up? It's taking forever. So let's uh, let's try to add uh, visit camp now six times. One, two, to take a bit. Okay, three. Thank you. 
four, five. So ideally, now, when I click this, this button will be removed. Let's hope I'm right. Am I? This way? Uh, okay, so I'm right. Uh, so we don't have an option to add anymore because we reached the limit, but if, if we remove this, we do have the option again. Okay, does it make sense? It does. I'm pretty clear. <laughs> uh, or you, if you want to add PayPal, you can do it like this. Here, I'm gonna just paste the link here. I'm gonna make it easier. So, uh, fracted uh, PayPal. Pay. Pay with pay by. No, no, it's it, you can do it here. Uh, you get the link of someone. Uh, I don't have a link, but basically, you can understand like this. Uh, you will do it like this PayPal slash pay me i don't know something like that it's in paypal and on the user you will have the or or you can have it like this uh paypal pay link and whenever you log in or update it you add the link of paypal i don't know it's like pay me it's something like that I've used it in an app, but I don't, I don't remember it. So uh, I have it like this. The not Andy, which created Barca. PayPal link. Okay, let's save it. And here I, I, I entered the link. Log in user PayPal link and I link it to external website and the link URL will be the logged in user PayPal link or you can make it a uh, current trip. I should be inside the list so you can you can understand it but I'm not okay here. Just let me add this inside the list. Okay, here it is. A big button. Let's see. Link to PayPal. Okay, great. Current trip creator. PayPal link okay and here is the same so we have the creator of this trip current trip creator PayPal link and when we do click this it will send us to the PayPal link if the user has one this link is broken so it doesn't work correctly but you get the idea it will it will link us to the PayPal and it will work so is that clear now open your mix and talk to me, baby. Hi, I have a question. Uh, yes, yeah. tell me. It was clear, but uh, I didn't understand very well the part of the connection of Stripe with uh, Adalia. You connected here, uh, here with the with this button here. If you click this here, oh, oh, so, oh sorry, I, I'm not sharing. <laughs> okay, now you can uh, see, right? Uh, almost. Okay, now you can see. If you click this here, well, zoom in the screen so they, they can see. 
don't need this. If you click on this blue button, you click this here, you will you will follow the steps on Stripe. You follow the Stripe steps, and after you finish the steps and the verification in Stripe, you, you basically you just you, you enter the Stripe account. After you set the, your Stripe account here, here will show the data that I showed you on the other app that was configured. So secret key, pending. the secret key, the URI and the Stripe ID, Stripe account ID. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So what that means is that you as a merchant, as a seller have connected your Stripe account and then on your UI UX, every time, every time uh, a user connects, clicks that connect with Stripe, he will be prompted to Stripe and will connect will be connected to your account. That that that's what happens. Just a second. He will be, will be prompted to Stripe and will be connected to your account. Then you will get its data. I think I I can show you a preview. But I hope it is connected. Just a second. Also, in the meantime, I heard somebody talking. I think but it, got was, uh, it was Julieta or Arionia. Uh, let's, let's start this. Hmm. Oh, it's going a little bit slow, but. But maybe it's the internet. No, it's Sadal. It's because I'm sharing, I guess. Yeah. No. Okay, great. I'm breathing now. You can see right. Okay. She messed the design. So. Mm -hmm. She's messed the design. Yes, she did. She messed the actions as well. <laughs> yep. So basically, I, I had a menu oh. bar here, but. Oh. I, will, I will do it like this. <laughs> So I have to look oh, in. yeah, I mentioned this with some some one of you. When you make a change on Adalo and you don't see the result of the change that you made, please try to test and review your app on incognito mode or on a private uh, uh, window browser. Because it's because better. it's cache. The cache uh, saves the the earlier version and it gives you instantly the older version, even if you made updates. So you either clean the cache. You can do it like this. Uh, well, sorry. No, don't do it. I won't do it. But uh, to go to your point, Clevis, see here. You click this connect to Stripe. You get redirected to this user Stripe. You can see here body to sold, body to sold movement pay partners with Stripe for secure payments. You get your account. You continue. So this is the body to sold. Uh, uh, but it is all account. You, know? you, you get it. Then after I after I connect it here, I, uh, the the stripe will save my user ID. She missed this one. Anyway, here you connect it. You have to connect it. Then it will be saved. That way, the stripe gets your data when you pay something. It, it goes to their account. Is it clear? Yes. Oh. Yes. Thank you. 
You're welcome. Uh, also, Julieta or Ariola, I don't know. Julieta. Or uh, I had a question about menu items, uh, the filtering. So uh, when we put the filter of number six, uh, the filter works just for one item. And so, for example, we can uh, we can order six items for the first one and six items, for example, for for, for the second item for the second or menu e item. Exactly. I mean. That's why I had a, a double filtering on the menu item and on the order. So I want to I, I wanted to make distinctive that this ordered item belongs to the first menu item because I I checked it by the name. So when I create an ordered item, I gave it the name of that menu item, right? So yes. uh, I I have this menu item book and I create an and I want to buy a book. I create this ordered item which is named book. I click it again, I create an order, another ordered item, which is called book. So I have two books and I check it, the number, if this order, ordered items, where the name is book, is equal to six, this button will not be visible. If this order, ordered items, where the name is book, is less than six, show this button. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Uh, is this necessary or? If, if you want to make it uh, with a maximum number of items, yes. If you don't want to make it with maximum, it's not necessary. If you, you have unlimited things to sell, <laughs> that's okay. You don't have to, to put this filter on. Okay, thank you. This is necessary for, let's say, uh, classes. Uh, you, you, you sell a course uh, and, and you want it to be only six sessions and you make it visit all, uh, available for six sections of this course. Okay, I get it, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other questions? Any? Guard, uh, Ariola, Rea, you've been quiet. <laughs> Maybe it was a bit complicated because I saw that were other it's clear for me, great. Uh, other students participating in the call, but then they left. <laughs> Maybe it was too complicated for them, but it's okay. We will send you the, the link, link the... for the recorded. So, uh, so lesson. you can go back to to the things that you you find it found it hard. Let's say yeah, because it anything. was a bit catchy. And actually, in the first example, I I made it a little bit different, and this time I made it a little bit different as well. But uh, wow. this means that two ideas can do the same job. So at, at this time it was made by the same person. But <laughs> so today it was a little bit long, but the lesson itself, the lesson itself, was a little bit heavy. So I I had to 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 go step by step for it. If you don't have any, if you other, don't questions. Have any other question, we will close it for today. We'll give you an assignment. We will email the assignment to do this. We will keep in touch. If you have any questions, something that is not clear for you, you can email us. You can have to Google email Meet anytime. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye, Ariela. Bye. 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 Can you say you know that you're going to